Hello and welcome back to another episode of um, of Master of Orion 1, actually. We are trying to grab the right half of this map and to do that we expand to this region, attack the Alkari, attack the Bulrathi and after that profit. Um, right, so we sent some of our ships around already and the the colony ships ships will meet up in the somewhere to the right here. Oh, this is great. So which of my plants do not have not reached a population maximum? Tauri looks suspiciously like it's not at its population maximum. Because there's a nine at the end. Yeah, ninety five. See, I knew it. Um, which one was it this one? Yeah. Tauri transport. 57, that's too much. 50, except. Okay, that should max out this planet. Population-wise, that is. Okay, we're all reaching population maximum after terraforming, which was expensive. But now we have to work on the industry, planets. We kind of read the factories, and this number should be double the factories. Um, for some reason, this is five times the factory. So I'm wrong about that. I assume I'm wrong. Um, yeah, still though, we just try to push a little bit of money onto the smaller ones just to see if we can double them or increase them at least. So this one does no longer increase. 24. Can we double this? Roughly. Which one is next? 113 maybe. Let's see, let's try 140. Uh, 168. Yeah, transfer a little bit to this one. Yeah, this poop plan is probably. Yeah, <laughs> I maxed them out a long time ago. <laughs> okay. What we're trying to do is um, allow the, the the weaker colonies to produce more. Probably cannot double it right now. To produce more of uh, of of the factories, that uh, should bring them faster to their maximum. Really need them to be top very soon. How are the ships coming? About three turns. Just grab three turns. One. Oh. Population maximum, sure. Two. EMC jammer. Duraloy armor. Increases the hit points of ship and transporters by 50%. Pestle combat armor is also enhanced, adding five total ground combat. Uh, let's get a battle computer. Industrial Tech 7, this reduces the cost for industrial... For, for building factories. So you know what? Where's that? Construction, right? Yeah, let's go into construction, actually. Like with everything we have in research. Just try to bring down the cost, because this is what we're doing right now. We're increasing the factories. And we're still we're still settling on planets, so we're not done with settling on planets. This was Tau Signy? No. Sidon, right. And the next one will be to the right here. Mobas, you can transport something to Sidon. 
35. 30. Okay. Mobus, do you have a growth problem? Looks like. It's actually bad. Um, nah, it'll be fine. Okay, so the factories... Oh yeah. This green barren one could be the key to a lot of planets. Let's see. Barrel. The Silent have grown strength. Already they control 13 star systems. Yeah, but they're all barren and tundra. Not, it's not the ocean planet. <laughs> not, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> except Toxic Inferno Minimal. It's also a normal, uh, normal colony ship. Yeah, this was the key to a lot of colonies. And up here's a Tundra one. This is... Uh, we don't have a Tundra ship nearby. We should though. Where's the Tundra ship? Fleet. I thought we had another Tundra ship. Moving to Imra, moving to Beryl. They're just not there yet. Ah, okay. So there will be a Tundra ship coming soon. Hmm. Industrial Tech 6. Let's get those costs down. Tauri. Um, has reached its population maximum. That's great. This one is a tundra. It'll reach in two turns. We can send the colonists now. But yeah, that's it'll it'll reach. Uh, all right. Then we'll wait. <laughs> um. Planets, though. Beryl. You you don't have incoming transporters, right? So maybe Nur can support you. Forty million maximum. Right. So that's this planet handled. Okay, and let's see, let's transfer funds to the weaker planets. We have 700, so we should be able to afford doubling on nearly all the weak planets. Transfer 50. Transfer 200. 177. Okay, let's just accept this. Turn. Yes, an artifact world is, is great because this increases research and research is, in any case, great for silence. So, um, We'll do great on the artifact world. Did the Tundra ship arrive at this place now? No. Ah, there's the Tundra ship. It, it arrives in six turns. So let's give it another turn. Yes, Tundra rich, please. Imra. Okay, I think we got two colonies in the last few turns. One of them was Gardas, I think, and the other one was Imra. So, we should translocate some people to Gardas. 
accept and a couple to Imra. Imra pro probably does not take a lot of people. Yeah. Next turn. Primodius. And transfer people to Primodius. Burathi astronomers predict that a comet will collide with Keita colony within nine years. Unless the star fleet can destroy the comet, comet the colony will, will be destroyed. Keitha. Okay, let's first transfer some people to um, Primodius. Transport. Oh, does not take a lot of people either. Accept. And now let's see where Keitha is. So it's Bulrathi. It has to be one of these. Oh, it could be at the very bottom left. Did I see that right? Yeah, right. Um, Spica, Lam, Ursa, Regal. Is Keitha really at the bottom left? Raiden. No, it isn't. Ursa, Regal, Hyboria. Maybe I don't know all the planets. It's entirely possible. Hmm, interesting. Sydney has reached its industry maximum. That's great. That's that's really good news because this is one of the newer colony colonies. Um, planets. So production transfer. Bunch of production to here. Bunch of production to here. Just increase their funding. Should have started at the bottom actually. <laughs> Hundred and thirteen. Okay, accept. They will pay taxes at some point. Planets transfer a couple of funds. I clicked cancel accidentally. I think they can't even take it. So you can tell by, by the production number it does not change. So this is 76 and this probably can take a lot of funding. And now it's 145 and it'll use up that extra funding this turn. And I overfunded Imra and Beryl to the point where they take a couple of turns to actually eat up the funds. And you can tell that, that our economy is coming up because um, I think it was 102 last turn, now it's 103, so we're, we're getting somewhere. So two, we, I think we might be able to double that. No, we're not. <laughs> 12, let's see if we can do anything here. Nope. But it's not bad to fund them, right? At some point they will they will be able to do something with the funds. 94 is probably the next in line to get something. Industrial testing, this is great. Industrial waste 40%, that's also awesome because this reduces the the cleaning cost. So these echo cleaning costs. And we'll have overall more funds. And funds is all we need. Funds, 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 funds. <laughs> so let's transfer even more money into the whole economy. And yeah, one thing that I did not do is use these buttons to click. You see this one doubled from 2 to 4. And that's what we want to see when funding and this one probably can eat it all. 
Yeah. We just pump into our weakest planets and try to kind of double their uh, double their output. And the rest goes into research, which is not bad. And I think after the, the waste 40% uh, tag, unless we get something really, really juicy, um, yeah, unless we get something exceptionally juicy, we will stop pushing everything into, uh, what's it called? Construction technology. Now, over all the funding, I actually missed that I should also um, like, I think there's one more planet, right? Yeah, there's a Tundra planet up here. And I should grab that. I have a Tundra ship in orbit around Barrel, is that right? Yeah. I think this is the Tundra planet. Except is that right? Yes, it is. It's an ultra-rich planet, so it will be great for production. It will be really poor for <laughs> for everything else, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, and we're we're getting there. The 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 planets start to have full industry capacity. Utterly destroyed the Barathi Kita colony. Okay. Well, sorry for all the Barathi that lived there. They had time to evacuate. I hope they they did. <laughs> but who knows, right? Planets. So the planets with the weakest production are actually yeah, they're no longer at two at a production value of two or something. They're getting up there. Transfer to this one. We've got another one for thirty-eight. I think I did already invest in the thirty-eights. Is this the same one again? <laughs> Except <laughs> um thirty-eight probably can double yeah okay next turn we're getting there but there will be one more colony up here that needs our attention and I don't think I'll need the colony ships actually so in terms of fleet I think I'll scrap my colony ships Um, I am an idiot. I just scrapped the Tundra ship that was on its way. Oh god damn it. I think this is actually the twi the second time in this playthrough that this happened to me. How long do you, as a neighboring star, how long does it take? Oh, I don't even have the design ready. Ah, right. So, Tundra ship. You are the call T ship built right um, so Tundra ship how long does it take you two years you're fast that's actually faster than than it would have taken I think to just fly there <laughs> hail glorious Emperor Quark I bear greetings from Red Wing ruler of the Alcaris uh, yeah, let's trade. Where did I produce 76 scouts? I produced 76 scouts somewhere. Which planet? Come on, where I accidentally... Was it across several plan planets? Looks like it. So, Primodius though. 
Where's Primordius? You need funding because I need my ship. Okay, it'll be ready next year. Let's investigate. Where did we build these ships? Did we actually build... It, or was that just purely an accident? Some weird effect. I want to terraform everything. It's not terraformed yet. That one, okay. Use is ra rotan. Um, yeah, you have to terraform. These are terraformed, right? Tau Signi is terraformed. Giant is terraformed. New Arl terraformed. Primordius, yeah, you, you're busy. I think that's everything. All right. Yeah, but our, our colonies are getting up there. Reduced waste, yes, please. Industrial Tech 4, but our colonies are nearly ready. Um, mm, Sotium armor. Armored exoskeleton is actually better for ground combat. Let's grab that. Um, Freed production, one call T. This was at Primodius. Primodius, you're now terraforming. Alright. You're also terraforming. Oh no! By setting it to a minimum for all planets, I, I kind of cancelled all terraforming projects. Which is not the effect that we wanted to have. Still though, we're okay. Most of them are already terraformed. We need to double check nonetheless. Because some of them are not. Delhi. These are definitely terraformed. Don't even have to look. Okay. Next turn. I think the ship takes like one or two turns to Primodium. Mechless attacks Cylons. Intruder, Nexus, and Colony Ship. Oh, um, yeah, retreat. You got me. It's your planet for the taking. But I know everything about your planet. See, that's the beauty <laughs> of being there first. So I know the planet and you just settle on it. I can't fly there? Okay. Right. Um, yeah. We will have to take a couple of moments to prepare for war, I think. They have an awful lot of fleet nearby. Well, it's not an awful lot, but it's enough to make me nervous. Let, let's, let's settle this new planet first, and then we'll switch into high gear. Okay, so Giant, please build defenses. Mentar defenses. Tau Signi defenses. These are, I think, the ones most under threat, right? Well, maybe this one. So the, the fringe worlds, if you will. Those are the ones that I also can... Like, I think I have the highest reaction time in getting to them. Rotan is still building. Primodius is doing something. Okay, and we need ultra rich. Tundra, you need to be populated, so transport to Escalon. Pr 
probably 23. Let's go for 22. Okay, I think... So, the attack forces seemed like um, something along the lines of five ships, each uh, having 100 hit points, so it's 500 hit points. And I think that I actually get to use my best rockets, right? Um, those would be Hyper-V rockets at the moment. Oh, I wanted to lower the construction. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Okay, so I think weapons is what I want. And also force field plus maybe computers. Okay. Yeah, I think I get to use my, my best weapon. That would be a Hyper-V rocket. Six points of damage. So, to kill one ship, um, I need to fire how many rockets? Um, six times, no, a hundred divided by six, that's the one. Twenty-ish. So if I have twenty bases, I can stop producing bases. And then I would one-shot a ship. Which is, I think, a good place to be. This is my backyard right here. I don't think I will have to defend this a lot, so I won't build defenses, I'll just research. Oh, I missed something. Accidentally clicked. Escalon, you will need funding. Uh, transfer all the funds. All right, that should be funding <laughs> enough for a long time. <laughs> That's awesome. We have so little cleaning costs. This is about nothing in terms of cleaning cost. Barathi, expansion is dangerous. No one can outguess the other's deployment, so we propose a non-aggression pact. Yeah, let's have a non-aggression pact, actually. Because I'm about to attack the Alcaris, and... You can be... Yeah, you will be free to be... I'll destroy you last. Uh, construction tech 4. I just researched the exoskeleton, so I'm going for Andrium armor. Factories, yeah. That's, um, that's a good one. We should out-research everyone now. Let's actually go to the races tab next. Just double check that we do have some advantage. Give me good news. <laughs> Population, okay, we're great in terms of population. We have a lot of planets. Bolrathi have a similar amount, actually. Similar amount. And we we have about one quarter of the map. So that's really scary. Um, Alkari, not, Alkari, not so much, though. Bolrathi, Meklar, Fleet Strength. Also, we don't have any Fleet Strength. Technology, we're not ahead yet. We're ahead of the Alkari, though. That's something. Report. 
personal deflector shields. Class 2 deflector shields for ships. Control toxic environment, that one's interesting. Yeah, we outdo them in terms of industrial tech. We have enough ground combat tech that we don't have to rely on this. So as soon as we have sublight, um, yes, I think sublight will be the, the the key. We have it lined up in the tech tree, so at some point we'll get it. That we have decided to destroy the Silent Empire now. You declare war. Um, okay. So, I guess we'll design a ship that you cannot handle. Um, we'll call it... Uh... Expert. He's an expert at killing the Altaris. Computer, get a Mark I, get a Class Three shield. ECCM, why not? Dolaroy, just slap it in there, undestroyable. Actually, I want to fire more than I want uh, anything else. Fuel tanks, we'll grab that. Um, we only have the heavy laser, though. That's a poor weapon, but they only have shield attack too, so we should do a lot of damage. I don't know how it rolls, so... Lasers. No, actually not lasers. Heavy lasers. Let's go 10, 10, or 15, 15, 15. I hope that's possible. And we should be able to shoot three times and kind of roll the dice three times on the damage. Should equalize the damage a little bit. And we'll drop fusion bombs on their heads. Um, yeah, we don't... we just want to get rid of the missile bases. We don't want to destroy the civilian population with it. Build! So this is the expert. Planets. Um, 415. Ultra poor, rich. Let's see. Primodius should be able to handle anything. You ready? Yeah, you are. The expert. Um, tech. No, sorry. Planets. Primodius. Where are you? Grab all the money you can handle. And then we, we want a second planet to produce the expert. Uh, poor. None of them are really useful. The rich planet right here would be interesting, but it has little production to begin with. So it's probably that one's also interesting, but yeah, it's actually maxed on industry next turn. Um, yeah, we have to go to one of our core worlds, like Neural. 16 bases has to be enough. We need you to produce experts. It takes a long time, though. This is the expert. Okay, and you also produce an expert. Mentar, the same. Rotan, not. Geon, I don't think so. Okay. And we'll pump money into Primodius to produce the expert as fast as possible. So right now, if funding holds, it's done in five turns, and I think we can uh, go through with that. 
and have an have an expert ready in five turns. Um, yeah, if you want to see the war against the bird people, stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.